Are you definitely sure we're recording this time? Yes. You sure? Yes. You're absolutely sure? Yes. So everything I say is going to be, the reviewers are going to watch it, they're going to hear it. Cool. Wicked. So, the Dark Angels again, a lot of love at the minute. Lots of new kits coming out. The line is rumoured to be coming out. Don't quote me that that's fact, because I never paid attention to the release schedule, so I have no clue if he is or not. However, in this video, we're going to show you how to paint up the three branches of the Dark Angels. So the Deathwing, the Ravenwing, and of course the standard green armour. We're going to show you how to do it fast, so you can get them on the tabletop as quickly as possible, so you can play lots of games and pew pew! The Loyalists, Chaos, oh, who cares what they are? They're, they're Chaos, because they're, they look it. They're baddies, come on, they shoot everyone, they kill everyone. And they hunt down the Fallen. Yeah, sure, whatever. But also in this video, we're going to show you how to get some extra steps in there as well, so you can add a little bit more love to your models if you want to. They are Chaos. It's fact. That's the one thing I did know from working in my time at Games Workshop is the Dark Angels are chaos. You heard it here, folks. First up is the Deathwing. My personal favourite. I just really like that white armour. They're the inner circle. They know all the secrets. Now, I'm going to start with a white undercoat. Or if you've got bone, use bone. Why white, I hear you ask. Easy. Because I'm going to coat over the model. We're going to start from light and work to some dark areas. So the whole model is going to get coated and washed. And then we'll just build up some of those darker tones. So it's just a lot easier to get those Deathwing painted. We're going to start off with an all over application of Seraphim Sepia. Again, be mindful when doing this because it will pull and there's going to be lots of little areas where it will collect. So just keep an eye on when you're doing this and then just get a brush, dry it off and soak up any excess. With that shade now thoroughly dry and I get some AK Pale Sand and I'm just going to lightly dry brush over. It's going to kind of tide up the edges, also tide up some areas that may have had a bit too much wash pull here and there. Now we're going to pick out all the black details and get those silvers prepped as well. And for this we're using the Mighty Black Legion. So next up is to use some oily steel and pick out all those silver details. Again, just check over because I did actually forget to pick out those little studs on his left leg. So just be mindful and check the box art if you're not sure. For any green details, so like the little eagle across the chest, and we're using orc flesh here. I'm not really going to thin it down because as it dries, that light undercoat, like the white with the seraphim seep, is going to punch out and give you some nice natural highlights. And as it settles in the recesses, it's going to look nice and dark. And you can see just around those wings, I'm actually not going to like neatly paint around it. I'm just going to flood it with contrast, and it just it's just going to emphasise those wings and look like you put a lot of effort in when you haven't. We're now going to apply some Bile Red to the red details. This is mostly going to be the company badge, uh, the gun casing. So that's going to make it stand out different as a different texture because it's going over silver. And if you've got any purity seals, so the wax parts of a purity seal, just apply that to that as well. Next up, we're going to paint up the stone or grey details using AK Dark Sea Grey. Now, I've thinned this down a little bit so it's like three parts water to one part paint. And the reason for doing this is for quick, sort of easy steps, it's going to highlight it for you. So you're going to get some nice grey effects in those recesses. But as it pulls away, a bit like a contrast, it's going to give you a nice highlight. Because there is actually no decent contrast at the moment that's like a nice mid-tone grey. Next up, I'm going to use AK Bronze for all the gold details. I know, it's bronze and I'm using it for gold. Don't worry about it. And I'm just going to pick out any gold details, such as like belt buckles, those skulls on his knuckles, and also any bullets as well. Then we're going to shade all the details except the bone with Norn Oil. Don't worry, if you get any Norn Oil on the bone, we're literally going to tidy that up in a moment or two with some pale sand. And like I said, just work your way around the model, tighten up any bits you've splodged with like red, green, black or whatever, and just use pale sand for that. It's quite close to this effect, so it's not going to stand out too much. So with the Dark Angels, they do have three different colour schemes, so picking a basing colour can be quite tricky. Here, what I'm going to do with our basing is go for a nice mid-tone grey. We're going to have some green nuances in there as well, and that's mainly to look like algae or moss or whatever. Now the thing is, dark, ba dark models need light bases, light models need dark bases. When you've got a mixture, you need something that's like a mid-tone, which is why we've gone for grey. So it looks fine on those nice beige, white looking Deathwing. Also works really well with a Ravenwing which are black and also works really well with those uh, green armoured troops. But brown could do it, 
sand less so maybe because it's going to clash with the Deathwing. So just pick a colour that's nice and neutral and works across all three colour schemes. Start off with AK Lunar Desert. Now I like to thin down with a bit of water just around the feet because then it just flows around a bit more and there's less danger of me like splodging it onto the actual toes. So work your way around and you want to leave it like an hour or so to dry. After that, I'm going to get some AK Green Skin Soil. So this is one of those liquid pigments. I'm going to flood that across the model. In some places, you can get there thinner and just like thin it down here and there. But when it dries, it will give you kind of like a mossy algae kind of effect. It's going to look really nice, especially when we dry brush it. And like I said, we're now going to move on to a dry brush. And here, we're going to use Pale Sand again as a final dry brush. And once that's done, all you need to do is just rim the base. And I'm just going to use Steel Legion Drab, as I always do, because it's the best colour ever for trims. It just is. Black. Nah. You want this colour. And there we have it. Our Deathwing Terminator is ready for the tabletop. But keep watching if you want to see some extra steps applied to him. Now to add some extra steps to your Deathwing, we're going to start first by getting some AK Deep Red. And we're going to layer up, first of all, that red wing. Then we're gonna get some AK Deep Green and also lay up those green details. Then get some AK Dark Sea Grey and just layer up those stone details. So that's kind of just added like a second tone just to add a little bit more punch to those greens, reds and greys. Now for an extra highlight, what I'm now going to do, because we've already used pale sand here, is I'm going to mix that into all of these colours. So I'm going to mix a little bit into the green, mix a little bit into the uh, grey. Maybe not so to the red, because I think it'll make it go a bit pink. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit more emphasis to those edges, just a little bit here and there. Then I'm going to finish off highlighting any bone areas, so that's just the armour, I'm going to use white for that. Take your time, work your way around. And when I often do highlighting, I don't always do like nice, neat lines, I like to do little jaggedy ones as well, makes it look a bit battered. And for his eyes, for a little bit more punch, I'm just going to drop in some white just to make it stand out a little bit more. And take your time and make sure you've got a nice point to your brush. So after the Deathwing, which is the first company, we're going to move on to the second company, which is the Ravenwing. Now I hear you say, but Peachy, you're using a salt intercessor, not a biker or an outrider or a land speeder crew member. I know I'm not it's to showcase the armor a lot easier on one of these guys. I mean, you can just follow this to paint the bikes and the land speeders if you need to. But the reason for doing it is it allows you to easily paint your dark angels if you want to do pre heresy color schemes. Also fallen if you want to do some fallen chaplains and any other black armored spaceman. There's plenty of flavors out there. So this is just a nice way of showing you what that looks like across the whole model. Starting off with a black undercoat, I'm going to get some dark sea gray and dry brush all over just picking out those edges it can add a bit of roughness to it but that's fine because we want a bit of roughness here because the space marines have been fighting lots so next up i'm going to get some black legion thin this down i'm going to do what i call reverse highlight so if you don't like too much of the roughness this is a really nice way of removing some of that and what it does if you don't work to the edges it actually adds a bit more punch to those recesses and those like flat zones and gives you more emphasis on those highlights it's really quick, really easy, less neatness required. Then we're going to pick out any silver areas with oily steel. I'll also use this on the undersuit to help break up the shape of the mini as well, as it could look very black and very shapeless. So whereas everyone else, I, I tend to use black for the rubber undersuits here. I'm going to use silver because it just, again, adds emphasis to the model. I'm going to get some Steel Legion Drab. I'm going to use this for the leather and just apply a couple of thin coats just to build it up. Don't forget to do the belt as well. I'm going to get some of that pale sand and pick out that bone chest eagle. I'll also pick out the purity seals, including the wax and also the eyes in preparation for the next step. And that next step is to add some red to those areas. So on the purity seal wax, I'm going to get some bar red, apply that to the gun as well, gives it a different feel and also drop it into the eyes as well. 
Then last of all, I'm gonna get some Norn Oil and apply that to the bone, the red, and the silver details. I'm not gonna do this on the eyes though, because I want those to look a little bit more glowy. And with that, our model is pretty much tabletop ready. You just need to base it like we did with the Deathwing. So next up is the next step section, just to add a bit more love to your models. I'm gonna start off by using pale sand and we're just gonna hile up any bone areas and any parchment areas you might have on the model. Then we're gonna get some deep red and highlight up those red areas. And again, I'm just gonna be a bit rough with the edge highlighting so it makes it look a little bit jaggedy and scratchy. Then finally get some dark sea gray and then chip up and highlight that arm. Again, follow that same method. You can use the edgy brush, run across the edges, but here I like to do like that little staggered jagged effect so it looks a bit battered and weathered. So our Ravenwing Marine is now done. So we're now gonna move on to the classic green armor of the Dark Angels. So this basically covers the rest of the companies in the actual chapter. So I'm gonna start here with a black undercoat. You could use gray if you want to, and then just base coat with a, with a green, but I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna overbrush with like deep green or Caliban green, whichever you've got. And it's gonna leave a lot in the recesses. So it'll be black in the recesses, but it's just a really quick and cheeky way of getting some basing, base coats done layered, but also maintaining some recesses in there as well. So there we are, like I said, I'm just gonna get dark green and heavily overbrush. This is a mix between like a dry brush and a layer. So I don't rub as much off the actual brush itself, just rub a little bit off on some tissue paper. And then I just heavily go over. I try and follow the contours as well of the actual model. So I'm, not, I'm trying not to get too much into the recesses so it stays black. After that, I'm gonna get some light green um, or warpstone glow will do, and I'm just gonna lightly dry brush those areas. If you do, if you go too far, don't worry, because it could end up looking a little bit like a salamander, but that's fine, because later on, I'm gonna knock that back with some normal oil anyway. Then let's tidy up the undersuit with some Black Legion, and also pick out any guns if you've got like green on there as well, in preparation for adding some silver. And next up is using oily steel for the silver details. Again, just pick out those good working parts on the guns and also don't forget to paint up the actual gun casings as well because we need those silver ready for when we apply some red later on. Any gold details, just apply some AK bronze. I also forgot to do this on the actual little wrist thing on our Ravenwing guy, so you know, if you're doing Ravenwing, don't forget to do that as well if they've got gold details. Then we're going to pick out any bone details, such as the chest eagle, also any parchment details and the eyes using pale sand. Then we're going to get some bar red and apply that to the gun casings, as well as the little wax details if you've got any like purity seals, and also drop it into the eyes as well. Again, gives you a nice bit of a glowy effect. I'm gonna get some Steel Legion Drab. I'm using this for the leather and just apply a couple of thin coats just to build it up. Don't forget to do the belt as well. And then pretty much we're gonna coat the whole model in Norn Oil. Again, the only thing I'd say you avoid here is the glowy eyes, but if you do get in there, just tidy back up. And that model's pretty much ready for the tabletop. Again, just needs basing. Check out how we did the Deathwing for that. So we're now gonna move on to the extra steps. And first of all, just to add a bit more love, we're just gonna tidy up that green armor with a little bit of deep green. Again, not too much, I've thinned it down a bit and I also thin it, apply a bit on the actual shoulder pad and then just like lick my brush and, or use some water, it's up to you, just to move it around the model a bit, just to thin it down. Then we're gonna highlight or chip the armor and we're using AK light green here. Again, following the same process I've done with the other two, which is just a bit more of a jaggedy effect. And just work your way around. You don't have to do every armor panel, just like pick out the ones where the light's gonna catch. Then follow the same process for the red areas. And for this, we'll be using deep red again. 
picking out the bone and any parchment will be using pale sand. Now for the leather, what I'm going to do here is get some Steel Legion Drab, tidy back up those raised areas. Again, doing a little bit of a scratchy kind of effect just to make it like leather. And then when I've done that, just to mix a little bit of pale sand into the Steel Legion Drab, just for a lighter highlight. Uh, I, you can get a lighter tone if you want to, but I'm just going to use what I have on the palette and then just mix that together 50-50 and then you can just highlight the edges. So there we have it. A nice quick way of painting three different color schemes for the same army and making it nice and cohesive as well. Pretty quick, pretty straightforward. And also these colors can easily transfer to things like tanks. If you want to know how to do that, check out this video here. Now, obviously the color scheme is different, but it's more the actual processes and techniques and methods that are in that video that will help you transfer these schemes to tanks. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description, like and subscribe, and until our next meeting, Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> I totally went to Gandalf of Dark Angels. Stand still. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.